I had two goals at the beginning of this year. One of them was to level up my author career. The other one was to monetize my YouTube channel. Hi, my name's Rachel and this is my AuthorTube channel. And I make videos about all things writing, but I'm having a little pivot. So I have, as a YouTube creator, I'm also a YouTube consumer. I enjoy watching YouTube videos, maybe a little too much, but that, that's not the point of this video. So I was watching this video, this YouTube creator called Silver and Solo. Nothing to do with writing, just a lady that came across my YouTube feed that I found really interesting and I watched her videos. Basically, she is a lady in her 50s, silver hair, and solo. She is a solo person and she makes travel videos. It was very interesting, but the one thing I was really interested in is a video series that she made about monetizing her YouTube channel and I really enjoyed watching that series and she was talking about her journey through monetizing her channel and she documented and I thought that's really cool so I show this book so often this is one of my favorite books I recommend it everywhere if anyone ever says to me what's your one bit of advice for a new writer that read that book is going to be my number one recommendation every single time and what he he, Austin Cleon, talks about in that book is sharing your journey and your process, being authentic as you do. I'm sorry if the camera's wobbling, my cat is sat behind it. But he, he just talks about sharing your journey with other people because there is always someone behind you that will be learning from you. As you share your journey, you will learn from yourself. So it is with this in mind, I'm watching Jen's video, that's her name on the silver and solo, I thought what wouldn't it be great for my second goal for me to document that so it's never been my goal really to earn lots of money from my youtube channel i would like it monetized and it would be really cool if it at least paid for my canva subscription and my photoshop subscription and you know those silly things that we have that would be cool i don't imagine youtube will ever make me thousands and that isn't my point i just enjoy youtube and i want it to grow and it needs a goal so the goal for it was to hit the monetization because youtube puts figures on that which are they seem miles away but they're achievable so what youtube says that you need to be monetized is 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours so i'm like cool that's going to be my goal so i and the thing is i have had this youtube now for about three years and it's been a process i say that i'm shy the thing is i'm not really shy i am the award-winning self-doubting person <laughs> i award myself that award of self-doubt because i get in my own way so much i wanted to make a youtube channel for years just because i i enjoy sharing the things i'm doing you know years back i used to have a gaming website and i was on the gaming forums and i had such a good time and made so many friends through that community and then facebook came along and forums and things like that vanished and you know people just moved on with life and it kind of left me meandering a little bit because this is the kind of stuff that i just like doing and so then youtube's come along and i started my youtube channel i can't remember how many years it was now two three years ago and i was so very shy to get in front of the camera hello self doubt um that i did they're really crappy videos you can go and watch them because they basically plan with me videos but yeah and i have such a horrible habit of i have lots of plans and lots of things i want to do and i get really super excited about it and then i go and consume content by people on the same topics as me so i want to have a youtube channel so i will naturally go and consume videos about people with youtube channels but then i will see well they've grown so much more than i have and their videos are better than mine and they could talk better than i can you know none of this has to be true but it's what my brain likes to say to me and so then i start getting inconsistent with what i want to do because every time i sit down to either record a video or to edit a video i just feel really doubtful of where i am in my journey and how good i am and i'm never good enough and i know this is something i need to work on so after watching her video video series i I thought that's really cool the documenting her journey to monetizing and i loved the way you could watch how she was learning what she was doing and how she was improving and stuff like that and she she might have cared in the background what the people were thinking but on her youtube channel she didn't come across as it getting in her way and that's what i want and so i have two goals this year like i said one is a little 
my pulling up my author career and one is my YouTube channel. So I have decided that I am going to follow Jen from Silver and Solo and document my YouTube journey with the hopes that it will make me more consistent because my lack of consistency is down to my confidence and nothing else really. I let so much get in the way because I feel unconfident and I want those bits of me to grow. And I know this is my author channel. Hi. But my YouTube is part of my author career and I follow Joanna Penn who has the Creative Pen Comp podcast and one of the things that has always stuck with me for years is when she talked about having a job, I think she was in Australia, where she got laid off, whether she took voluntary redundancy or was just made redundant, I don't remember, but she went from one day to zero income and she now talks about having multiple streams of income. So that is part of what this is. One thing doesn't have to make you lots of money, but lots of things all together can give you that sense of financial security. So this is what I want to do with my YouTube. My, not for my YouTube to give me financial security which would be awesome by the way but for it to at least pay for some of the things that I subscribe to like Canva and Photoshop and the things that I need for my career. So I'm going to try and document this as a series just coming on weekly to chat to you about how my week went, what I did and all that. So I'm going to throw you over to computer version of me, office version of me and let you see my stats for YouTube as they are today and then hopefully next week we'll see an increase and it will Grow. So, yeah. into my analytics so I know it actually says 549 and in the end of this video it says 548 but I recorded all the video went to edit it and this footage I'd accidentally deleted it so I've had to record it again and in the meantime I had a subscriber which is great but anyway so I want to give you the stats of this first video so I'm going to give you for the whole year because as I've said in a whole year you have to have 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. So this is how I've done it in the last 365 days. These little markers here are when I've uploaded a video. So as it stands right now in the last year I've had just over 20,000 views which is great. I've had just shy of 1,000 well I've had 1000 watch hours which is fantastic and then I've gained 368 subscribers in the last 368 days brings me to 549 subscribers for my channel which is amazing it's not you know it's still a small YouTube channel but 549 people is great so for the last seven days um, this is what I'm going to be tracking every week he's coming in here for the seven days so for the last seven days I've had 659 views, 20.3 watch hours and four new subscribers which is great. I want to come in here every week and measure this and see how it goes and what I improve and if I can raise those metrics up with my content hopefully putting up at least a video a week. But yeah, so I will hand you back to myself that's talking about this and I, I'm sorry the I update, I deleted this bit of the footage and this subscriber thing because I will tell you it was five four eight which it was when I really recorded when I originally recorded this so that was my stats they were really cool 548 subscribers it's not tiny tiny but still a small YouTube channel and I've got a thousand watch hours which is great I'm a quarter of the way there so I hope that it was cool to be able to see my stats I will update you next week on what I'm going to do, what I've done for the week, what I've released and any thoughts and hopefully we will see those stats increase. But until next time I'm going to head off and I will see you next week. Thank you for watching.